Hi everybody, uh, welcome back to another video. Today I want to speak to you guys about some um, helpful tips that you might use in your work-life balance if you're a woman in business or if you're leading a large team or um, if you're um, in a um, high-pressure career. Um, I know that a lot of times when um, you are your uh, work is taking so much time and commitment, it's very easy to feel overwhelmed and to feel um, a sense of burnout and um, lack of self-care. Usually those are the things that go out of the window um, firsthand. So, um, and I wanted to kind of give you a few tips that based on my experience or the experience of the people I work with have helped um, in sort of trying to create that balance between work and personal life. Um, so one of the things that I wanted to share with you is the importance of planning or uh, prioritizing your daily activities. Um, into uh, time blocks into your calendar. Uh, when things are properly planned and you have a very clear idea by what your priorities are, then it's much easier to um, focus on those activities and um, get dedicate the rest of your time to the rest of your um, commitments, which would be maybe your relationships or your hobbies or your health. So um, that is one thing that I also personally use and I want to share with you maybe an exercise that I, um, I usually do once a week on Mondays. I do a brain dump exercise when um, I take pen and paper and I dump out all the things that I have to do, all the things that are bothering me or in my mind um, in order to um, prioritize properly and sort of clear my brain into all the things that I have to do. So then after I uh, write all these things in my journal, I go in and I start prioritizing or I cross off things off the list that maybe I thought were important. But once I see them on paper, I realize that um, those are not very important to me and I go ahead and cross out things that um, I'm no longer interested in completing. Then the next step is I take all of that and I block it out in my calendar. Because we all know unless something is scheduled, then it does not usually get done. As life, life takes over, uh, and most of the time I know um, with uh, the way that the lifestyle of someone that's running a business or is in a leadership position is, usually you're putting out a lot of fires so that your focus is always split between a lot of things. So usually what happens is if things are not planned out in our calendars or time blocked, they usually uh, we end up not completing them. So um, hopefully that helped you out um, uh, as well with that particular tip. And also something else that I do is I go ahead and schedule time uh, for self-care uh, into my calendar activities that I enjoy doing outside of work or hobbies that I have. Uh, in order to make sure that I make the time for those things or even time with family, friends, um, maybe my partner or even my kids. So um, I go ahead and schedule those times ahead of time to make sure that I am dedicating and nurturing my relationships and I'm not just focusing um, most amount of my, my energy on my business solely. Um, so uh, something else that I do that um, I want to share with you is plan, a, plan getaways or short trips um, with, uh, you know, with family or with friends um, that will sort of uh, move me away from routine and help me recharge. Because as I mentioned before, especially when you do something that you love and you're passionate about, uh, you tend to get burned out because you have to watch your energy of, um, you know, the things that you're doing. So a lot of the time, especially at the beginning of my business, because I was so passionate about what I was doing, I would run the danger of getting burnt out. So I needed a solution to help me fix that. So that was one of the things that I did is regular um, short trips um with in getting away and sort of like cleaning my mind and giving me time to be by myself and refocus my 
priorities and figure out what happened and what is it the next thing that I want to do. So it's time for self-reflection and also time to just move away from the, um, the uh, work uh, and business and focus on nurturing relationships with my family, um, my partner or friends or whatever um, might have you. So I feel like that has helped me tremendously and sometimes I have found that that is actually more valuable even than uh, long week trips um, because it sort of gives you that short burst and it doesn't really take a lot of time. They could be Thursday to Sunday um, short trips or Friday to Sunday or even Saturday to Sunday uh, where you can go in and just um, take some time out. Very, very important for self-care. Um, yeah, so um, scheduling for hobbies, as I said, it's another thing that might help out uh, where you're not just, you have more of a balance where you're also dedicating time to activities that you actually enjoy. Um, and all of these put together obviously uh, make for a more fulfilling life because I'm sure that a lot of us um, don't want just a life that we're dedicated to just our work. We want balance, you know, we want time for family, we want time for ourselves, we want time for um, hobbies, for trips, for traveling, whatever else might be um, on your priority list. So um, hopefully these tips that I shared with you today are helpful in, in helping you achieve just that. That's all I had for you today. Um, I will come back to you um, on another video next Thursday with some other tips that I'll be sharing with you in another topic. Thank you for watching.